Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see how to import image sequence inside DaVinci Resolve. So now we are inside DaVinci Resolve. So downside, just we have to click on this media tab. Then left side, we will get all of our drives here. So just we have to select our image sequence folder. So just you can select your drives or just you can open from here. Then you can select your folder. So this is our main folder inside the these are our image sequences and these are our two images here which is just a still image. So now just we have to import our all these image sequence. So if you will open this image sequence folder, so you will get all your individual image inside this folder. So now suppose if you will select all these images, so press Ctrl A and just place into this media pool. So this will also import individual images inside this media pool. So what we have to do for importing as a image sequence. So before importing, just we have to click on these three dot. Then we have to select this frame display mode and just you can select this sequence. Then only this will display as a sequence inside this folder. Now if you will select this one, so you will get this actually numbers here which is start from frame 1 to 117. So now you can see even just you can click on the details view so you can easily see so you can see this is starting frame which is 1 and this is your end frame which is 117 so now after this just you can select your this image sequence and just simply you can drag and drop into this media pool here now just select and delete this one here now just again go to back and now just you can direct select any image sequence folder and just you can drag and drop into this media pool here so just select this one and just drag and drop so you can see this this image sequence inside this media pool same age you can also select your another folder so this one also just we can select and drag and drop here so this is our actually second image sequence next thing if you want you can direct drag and drop from this directory into this media pool so just you can select and direct drag and drop into this media so next thing just we have to also check up our frame rate this is again important things here so again if you will open your this image sequence folder so just select this image sequence and just check the details view so you will get this frame rate which is most important things here this fps so by default whatever image sequence you will import inside davinci resolve so this will automatically import according to your project frame rate whatever frame rate before importing you have set inside your project settings so again just click on file then project setting and just you can check so this is your project frame rate which is 24 fps here so now whatever image sequences you will import so this will automatically take frame rate from your project settings so again just select second one so again same frame rate you will get now just check so again this 24 fps so just you can see so now after this suppose if you want to change your image sequence frame rate then simply just you can right click on any image sequence inside this media pool then click on this clip attribute then after this just you can select this frame rate according to requirement or according to your image sequence you simply just you can click and just select maybe 25 this is just only for explanation just select 30 maybe now just click on ok so now if you will select so you will get the 30 fps right side this is your actually image sequence information then select second one so this is again same age so according to your project setting which is 24 fps then next thing suppose if you want to work on 24 fps or 30 fps then before importing any media inside the WC resolve just go to file then project settings then just you can also set your frame rate according to requirement just from this drop downs here so then after this just go to edit tab and just simply just you can place any image sequence inside your timeline so just select and just place it here so you can just simply play and check so now next thing suppose if you want you can also direct change your frame rate from this edit tab so again just select any image sequences then right click then again select this clip attribute and just you can change this frame rate again according to requirements so now just select the 30 fps now press ok so now if you will see in the details view 
so this is frame 30 fps now again just go to this media tab so just you can also check so if you will select so you can see this 30 fps so like this if you want you can also direct change your frame rate in this edit tab also then after that just you can place inside this timelines here so just simply we can play and check like this just you can input any image sequence maybe png sequence or tiff or exr or jpg inside the winc resolve after this suppose if you want to work with this media inside fusion then you can select this media then click on this fusion then this will automatically just import inside fusion then after they just you can start your composting inside this fusion so again just select maybe press and just find a blur node and just and just select this maybe gaussian blur then add and just place it here hold shift and just connect it here then after this just you can adjust the strength now if you want you can also just use this as a mask then just you can invert it here so again just select and just invert then give some soft edges so you can see this one here then after this just simply you can click on this edit so this will automatically update inside the vinci ritual so guys till here i have completed over this class so if you like this video please watch share comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribe my channel so thanks for watching